Yo, what's up guys, Surgical Golden here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, as you guys see, I'm 9-0 in the Grand Challenge right now and I will try to get to the 12 wins live for you guys using this really OP Golem Dark Prince deck. It's basically like the old deck guys with Prince, but instead I put in the Dark Prince, which has actually been working super well because in uh, the past, for example, with the Prince version, uh, well, there were still a lot of Barbarians in the meta, in this meta to be honest, not at all. But we've kind of missed like a splash unit on the ground, but in my opinion, this combination is perfect with the guards on defense, sometimes on offense as well, but mainly guards for defense against, let's say, like Prince, Bandits, Batterams, whatever. Even against, for example, Goblin Barrels or uh, stuff like that, dark, uh, guards are actually pretty good. But we don't really need that against Goblin Barrels because, as you see, we have the Barbell, Snowball, and the Lightning. So actually, triple spells, no Tornado. But in my opinion, we also don't really need that in this deck. And then, of course, the Mega Minion and the Baby Dragon, probably the two best uh, yes, support cards in general for beatdown. Uh, for example, with Royal Giant, you always see as well, like the Mega Minion, Baby Dragon, in this golem deck the same so i'm actually 9-0 with this golem deck guys actually a super solid deck and i actually beat quite a lot of uh, yeah good players as well for example in the last matchup i definitely had a really good matchup but for example against uh Jirai, then here against golem like kind of like a mirror match not really though because he did have the e-dragon tornado um we actually managed to win this one this one was actually really tough but we actually ended up uh, breaking through and then with that push i actually also yeah pressured like kept pressuring for the three crown, actually end up three crowning, uh, yeah, this guy. And as you guys see right now, at the moment, he's actually number one in the world. So, yeah, as you guys see, this deck is definitely really solid, guys. Then again, some kind of mirror matchup. Then actually against boss. So, actually, quite a lot of people, uh, which I recognize. Then against Pekka Royal Hawks, kind of a strange deck, but we managed to three crown him as well. So, definitely a really, really solid deck, guys. Feel free to copy it. Feel free to try it out. But as I said, I will try to get to the 12 wins live for you guys using this deck. So, I would say, let's jump into the first match, guys. So, it looks like we found one right away. Let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck. So with this deck for sure in Double Elixir, it's of course uh, yeah, stronger because it's a beatdown deck, of course, especially if you're playing Golem. So with this starting hand, I'm totally fine with waiting. I could just cycle, for example, Barb Barrel. Um, but to be honest, this is a perfect starting hand. If he waits, I mean, I guess I could just go with a Barb Barrel in the other layer right now with the Ice Golem. So if he would wait, like I have a perfect hand um, for that as well because I have Golem in my hand. Looks like he has Ice Golem and Bandit. So that could definitely mean that he has some kind of Bridge Bam deck. Looks like he also has minions. So, so far, this is definitely looking like a bridge fan deck, guys. I'm pretty sure he also has um, a better ram in this deck. And then I assume maybe like a Dark Prince or a Normal Prince. I've actually seen it quite a lot with Dark Prince because of the buff right now. Um, yeah, you've actually seen quite a lot of Dark Prince. Well, personally, me, I'm pretty sure you guys as well. Like uh, maybe in friendly battles, maybe in ladder, whatever. Dark Prince is definitely seen more often. And as you guys see, um, yeah, speaking about the Dark Prince. So, I guess I can just go with Baby Dragon over here and then a Barbrell. To be able to tank the charge and tank one more hit and then uh, yeah well uh, like the barb dies the tower and the baby dragon of course will be able to deal with that so let's see guys um definitely against this type of matchup we definitely need to watch out when placing the golem because i'm pretty sure uh, once we place the golem he will just rush us like all in in the other lane and i'm pretty sure he has an inferno dragon as well so his goal with that is um get yeah, us spending a lot of elixir on his push and then afterwards not have enough elixir to be able to support it and then, of course, the Inferno Dragon gets insane amount of value. So let's actually go with a uh, Snowball and Barbara on defense to be able to counter it. And so far, we're actually playing this super good, guys. And as you guys see, only 20, uh, 20 seconds left to be able to, uh, yeah, probably make a Golem push. I might not drop it right away when we have Double Elixir because, as I said before, I'm pretty sure it's Inferno Dragon. So I kind of want to have the right cycle to be able to put down a Golem. But honestly, right now would actually be a good moment because um, he doesn't have his Dark Prince's cycle. But I guess I will wait one more battle ram uh, cycle and then afterwards I'll actually go with a golem. So yeah, as I said, I'll wait one more cycle with the battle ram. Looks like there you go. There's the battle ram. So he's already kind of preparing for the alien attack. So I guess I'll just, um, yeah, wait. I'll try to defend that. And then afterwards, or actually I might go with a golem at the bridge here. I'll actually go with a golem at the bridge here. Because the baby dragon is still there. Dark prince is still there. And as you see, he does have the inferno dragon. So let's actually go with a snowball off here, trying to push it for, uh, towards the bridge. And as you guys see, the Mega Man might end up locking on. Looks like it will lock on. So let's actually go with another Dark Prince, guys. Probably should have done another Baby Dragon for the minions, but that's fine. We still have a Dark Prince. We still have a Mega Man there. Um, really good defense on his part, for sure. His Dark Prince is actually doing work. Looks like he also goes with a Fireball on defense. So actually really solid defense on his part. But again, like, um, yeah, not much of a counter push for him. Let's actually set up another golem over here, guys. And I'm pretty sure he will rush his other lane. Yeah, there you go. There the, there's the better ram. Uh, I'll actually not use my snowball over here. I'll actually go with my mega minion. And I'll actually go with a barbell. Okay, maybe I should use the snowball. I'll actually go with a snowball. 
I didn't want to use my Snowball because Snowball is of course really good against Inferno Dragon, but I guess I would just save up for my Lightning in this case. Um, let's wait a few seconds. Okay, let's go with the Lightning right now. So the Golem should at least be able to get a ton of damage. Um, looks like he's already going all in, so he knows that he can defend it. Looks like he's going all in right now. Let's go with Guards on defense. Let's go with a Barbara on defense. Let's actually go with a Mega Man, but as you see, the Golemite's on the left side tower with, of course, the help of the Golem death damage. Was able to take down of the uh, take care of the tower, so let's give him a good game. Let's give him a plate and let's give him a thumbs up. So 10-0 in the Grand Challenge right now with this deck. As you see, this deck is super, super good, guys. You definitely need to watch out in a matchup like this, as I mentioned. Do not be too aggressive with your golem. Like, you definitely need to be um, kind of patient. Like, kind of wait for the right moment. Because in this type of matchups, usually with one or two good golem pushes, you should be able to take care of the entire tower. You just need to, uh, yeah, as I said, wait for the perfect moment. Because if not, he will just rush you other lane. He will just go all in. Like, as you guys see, like, he tried to go all in with, like, Betteram, um, Dark Prince, Minion, Snowball offense even. Like, he basically just threw all his elixir, knowing that all it needs um, is, for example, if I don't manage to defend this... He would just be able to um, yeah, take down the tower and then afterwards I don't have any elixir left to be able to take care of the Inferno Dragon. So I think I played that pretty well last match. So it looks like we have a second match. He's also waiting for double elixir. So maybe it's really boring for you guys to be able to wait until double elixir. You can uh, of course skip. Oh, looks like he actually goes with his baby dragon. I'll actually go with a golem to tank. Maybe a little bit too aggressive. But if he does um, end up having a golem deck. Looks like this is actually a Becca deck I assume. He will probably drop his Becca right now. Yeah, I was about to say. Mm, okay, so definitely not a good golem. Uh, him waiting until double elixir. I thought that he would actually have a mirror match golem. So then it's uh, actually really good for us to go with a golem early on. In this case, it's actually really, really bad. Because right now we have to deal with a full HP P.E.K.K.A. Mm, let's see, guys. Let's go with a baby dragon in the back. Let's actually go with a dark prince. And let's see with what he supports it. Maybe like minions. Looks like he actually goes with his dark prince in the other lane. Also with a bandit. So let's actually go with a barbell. Um as soon as we can to try to yeah counter that okay so it looks like it's not that bad i mean our tower is only at 1006 hp but could have definitely been uh worse i mean he still needs to respond to the baby dragon and right now i guess it's a pretty good moment for us to go with a golem i'll actually go same lane as him uh into the right side not sure if that's a good thing but i think it is just because this way it's harder for him to push into this and he might actually have to switch lanes um eventually so let's actually set up a golem right now. I feel like we're up about like two or three elixir. Let's see when he puts down his P.E.K.K.A. As you guys see, he's still not putting it. As you guys see, yeah, probably I was up about like three, uh, maybe four elixir. So let's actually go with a baby dragon behind. Do need to watch out with poison value. But to be honest, like the baby dragon and dark prince, excuse me, don't really die to uh, poison at all. So let's go with a dark prince. Let's see what he puts. He might. Okay, so it looks like he actually does go with his uh, electro wizard. Really good lightning off here. We'll be able to take care of the dark prince. We'll be able to take care of the P.E.K.K.A. eventually as well. And then as you see, Golemites are actually locked onto the tower. So let's actually go with a Snowball over here. Um, let's actually go with a Dark Prince. So the Mega Man and Baby Dragon will be able to take care of his Baby Dragon uh, with the help of the Dark Prince. Of course, we'll be able to take care of the Betteram. And right now, we're actually looking pretty good, guys. I mean, definitely not the best or something. But let's actually go with Guards. Um, let's see if he supports this Bandit. Okay, looks like he goes with his better or a Dark Prince in the back. He doesn't have better in cycle, so I'm totally fine with putting a Golem in the back. But looks like he actually decides to go. Oof, he actually decides to go really aggressive. Let's actually go with a Snowball. Let's actually go with um, Barbell and let's go with Guards. Really aggressive on his part, but will definitely end up working out just because the Pekka is tanking. Pekka actually did end up dying, but as you see, uh, while the Pekka was dying, the Golem was also dying. So definitely a good pack on his part. I'll actually go with Lightning off here for the Electro Wizard. He might drop something else. Um, as you guys see, Dark Prince. So Dark Prince will pretty sure will die to the Baby Dragon, especially with the help of the tower. Hopefully, yeah, looks like it will. So right now, knowing that he does have Bennett and Better M in Cycle, I definitely should not put my Golem yet. I do have my guards right now, so I'm actually pretty um, yeah okay with putting down a Golem. And I might actually drop it. I'll actually drop it a little bit. Yeah, I'll actually go with it at the bridge. Maybe that's a little bit too aggressive, but it looks like, as you see, he does go with a P.E.K.K.A. So I think it's worth it, this trade. Let's actually save up for Lightning. Um, and let's try to Lightning his Electro Wizard as soon as he drops it. If he drops it. Okay, there you go. There's the Electro Wizard. So let's go with Lightning off here. We'll be able to take care of all of that. Let's go with a Barbell uh, to be able to kill those. And then the Barbarian is still forced, like, it still forces him to respond to the Barb. So let's see guys, let's actually go with a Mega Mia. Looks like he goes with his um, Better M. Looks like he goes with a Snowball. Kind of like a prediction Snowball. Didn't really pay off. And I think I'll actually go with Snowball Cycle. Oh my god, I didn't even hit the tower. Great Snowball on my part guys. Didn't hit the tower. Didn't hit anything. Um, 
Okay, we need to watch out over here. Let's actually go with a barbell. Let's go with a dark prince to the side. Um, and I think, yeah, as I said, I think it's a good idea to snowball cycle, but we do need to watch out. Okay, so it looks like one of the barbarians is actually able to deal a lot of damage. Um, and I think we might have to golem at the bridge, to be honest, guys. I hope he goes with, like, a bandit. Yeah, I was about to say. I hope he goes with a bandit at the bridge. And then we should be able to uh, go with a golem, like, to tank. And then go... Um... Oof, looks like he actually decides to... Oh, so this is actually perfect for us, guys. Looks like he decided to go with his uh, Electro Wizard. Better Ram. Oh, my God. We do need to watch out. I was about to say, we do need to watch out with the Better Ram. Because if one of the barbarians uh, yeah, ends up hitting the tower, that might be a good game with SGSC. The golem at the bridge was able to connect to the tower. So let's give him a good game. Let's give him a well played. And let's give him a thumbs up. Super well played on his part. So even this matchup, like, for example, against Pekka... Um, which is definitely not an easy matchup or anything, but as you see, we have Snowball, we have Barbell, we have Guards, um, Dark Prince, of course, super good as well, and definitely, like, the Baby Dragon Megami, like, supporting, often is able to kill, for example, Pekka's, and then, of course, with the help of the Lightning, um, yeah, we're often able to deal with a ton of damage, and then, in the end, just to call him at the bridge, knowing that even if he Pekka's, the Golem will still be able to, um, at least, well, not necessarily get the death damage, but at least reaches to the tower, and if he then, for example, goes with, let's say, like, uh, Electro Wiz as well, we can just go with the Lightning, because because that's uh yeah definitely good value like hitting the tower electro is and pekka so definitely really solid match over there guys 11 0 in the grand chance right now and i would say let's just open to the next match hopefully this will uh yeah be the last one that would be perfect going to a 12 0 like clean uh yeah 12 0 with this golem dark prince deck looks like we found a match let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck so we started with golem we have snowball we have mega me and baby dragon next card is the barbell so with this starting hand uh, again, I'm totally fine with waiting until double elixir. Actually, a perfect starting hand. If he, for example, starts off with like a, a Mega Man and Baby Dragon in the back, we can just match his Baby Dragon or Mega Man. Um, but yeah, I do want to apologize, guys, if it's like boring. If, for example, right now, like I'm waiting until double elixir, but I'm just trying to show you guys how to play this uh, yeah, deck in the best way. And as I mentioned earlier, trying to get to the 12 0. So, why put like, for example, Mega Man in the back if you already have the perfect starting hand to be able to wait until double elixir? So, again, feel free to skip if he doesn't uh, yet end up dropping anything. Uh, once again, I do want to apologize for that. But as I said, this is a perfect starting hand to be able to uh, start off with a golem. So, also, guys, I do want to quickly mention something. But personally, I prefer to put a golem in this situation or in this position, I should say. Just because normally, well, nowadays, you don't really uh, see that many golem decks like mirror matches or that many beatdown decks with tornado. Like, for example, my deck doesn't have tornado right now. But let's say he actually does have tornado and he ends up going in the same lane. Um, this golem sometimes his golem will then go on the right of our golem like our golem will be pushed a little bit to the left which often makes it harder for him to tornado or in this case like we'll push our golem a little bit to the right which will make it harder for him to tornado the golem to the king tower which can definitely help i mean if he ends up failing his tornado like to the golem um often that can definitely change the game like for example you might be able to take tower because of this uh tornado or you can just um yeah force out a lot of elixir like afterwards after failing the tornado like he might still need to invest for example let's say another four elixir or something like this but it looks like we're about to yeah head into double elixir guys um and as i said i will just start off with my golem he might actually be waiting with like a bridge fam deck or maybe like a pekka deck but i assume he also has beat down so let's actually put a golem hopefully he doesn't rush us like all in in the other lane so it looks like he does go with the golem so this is the example i was talking about like in this case like our golem in the left side um his golem should push it a little bit towards the left so let's actually go with the mega man uh looks like he has lumberjack so could definitely be the tornado one looks like he also has night witch so let's actually go with dark prince high and let's try to get a good lightning off here guys um it's actually a lightning his night witch and lumberjack so pretty good lightning golem death damage will uh, will reach the tower and will also be able to kill the lumberjack good lightning on his part for sure uh we'll be able to take care of uh, basically all of our troops so let's go with Mega Man on top of his baby dragon pretty sure I was about to say pretty sure he will go with another golem so let's actually go with a golem at the bridge trying to keep our Mega Man alive uh, it's basically the only play I can do right now to be um, yeah not necessarily like in a good situation but be in a decent situation so he's playing this really well guys definitely a really really solid lightning on his part looks like he does actually have tornado um, let's actually go with I guess guards on defense like to the side to the golem and looks like he is actually going with his lightning again. So let's go with our Mega Minion to protect his Mega Minion. And looks like he actually has it in lightning range. So let's actually go with a Golem at the bridge, guys. And I'm pretty sure this is a good game just because we can't really lightning block. I mean, it's not in range of, 
uh, of guards like lightning block i think li uh, guards like hp like to be able to lightning block is uh, yeah 199 so even if we for example right now would be able to predict his lightning uh he would just be able to yeah as you guys see hit the tower because the guards didn't have enough hp so let's give him a good game let's give him a well played and let's give him a thumbs up so definitely really well played in his part definitely really solid lightning and also him having tornado in this mirror matchup definitely helped um interesting that he didn't try to activate the king tower maybe he knew that it would be hard because i put uh, the golem in this position or maybe he just preferred tornadoing uh, my support troops away from his golem as well definitely really well played on his part but no problem guys we still have uh, yeah at least one life two, uh, two losses will put us out of the grand challenge but of course we'll try to win this one guys let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him a good luck so we started with golem uh guards dark prince baby jack and next card is the mega man so let's see if this guy uh, yeah, does decide to play or if this guy also decides to wait until double extra. That would actually be really boring for you guys. Um, if not, I guess I can just... Well, I don't necessarily want to cycle cards because let's say, for example, right now if I cycle my guards and we end up playing against like a giant double prince deck, I definitely need my guards uh, for defense. But it looks like he actually decides to go with his bar barrel. So I would just go with my dark prince. Uh, yeah, responding to it, looks like he has bar barrel um, bended. So it could definitely be, for example, a P.E.K.K.A. deck. Uh, maybe Mega Knight deck. To be honest, I haven't seen too much Mega Knight. I don't know about you guys, but looking like a Pekka deck with the Electro Wizard could still be Mega Knight, to be honest, but I think this is a Pekka deck. Um, looks like he actually has Ram Rider. Let's actually cycle to our Snowball and let's quickly go with Snowball on defense just to make sure like the Ram Rider doesn't end up connecting. Good Snowball on his part will actually allow the Ram Rider to get one hit. Luckily for us, no charge because charge, of course, is uh, yeah a lot more damage than the normal hit. But looks like this is uh, yeah Pekka Electro Wizard triple spell with Barbell snowball um and a bandit so let's see guys let's actually go with a golem in the back why golem already because i feel like we're up a little bit of elixir because this way uh this will allow us to support our push better and also we're actually getting quite close to double elixir um and also he doesn't have his ram riding cycle like his punish so this is definitely good for us so let's actually go with a dark prince uh probably we'll go with a mega mean as well Trying to take down... Okay, so let's actually go with a baby dragon to the side. I want to go with a Mega Me and trying to take down his um, Pekka as soon as possible. But this is also fine. Looks like he goes with a defensive lightning. So I'll upload on his part. He will definitely be able to defend this really well. But then again, like he spent so much elixir on defense. Uh, one Mega Man over here should be enough to be able to counter yeah, the Pekka and the Baby Dragon. If he goes with his Electro Wizard, okay, looks like he does. I was about to say, if he goes with his Electro Wizard, I can just go with Guards as well. Maybe not even need it, but I'll just still go with them because this way uh, the Guards will also be able to kill the Electro Wizard. Let's actually have the Barbell ready in case he goes, I was about to say, with a Bandit. Um, and I think I'll actually wait. A okay, so really good. Oh, that was actually really close. I thought that the bandit would actually charge onto the tower. I was about to say really good barber on his part, allowing the bandit to charge onto the tower, but looks like it didn't, so that was interesting. Um, let's actually go with a Mega Man, and let's actually go with a Golem at the bridge over here, guys. Thanking for the Baby Dragon, and then the Baby Dragon uh, with the Mega Man should be able to get some damage over here onto the Baby Dragon, onto the P.E.K.K.A. Let's actually go with a Dark Prince uh, behind this. Let's actually go... No, let's actually go with a Lightning for the Electro Wizard, because this way... Re oh my god i was about to say really good lightning and then i actually ended up uh misclicking unfortunately was not able to hit the baby dragon if i ended up hitting the baby dragon that would have actually been huge um but still like we're definitely looking uh yeah pretty solid let's go with a mega me and let's actually go with guards over here and let's see guys um definitely going into the same lane against for example a pack attack like this is good because it makes it harder for him to be able to push like for example right now the electro wizard it's kind of awkward for him to put a ram rider into the same lane because if he does like he will just allow us to counter it and then afterwards those uh yeah troops i used to counter the ram rider will just be able to um go behind the golem like forming a bigger push so as you see he's kind of forced to switch lanes uh well played on his part forcing out some elixir from us let's go with guards as well on defense Let's actually go with a uh, Mega Minion Baby Dragon over here. And let's also go, I guess, with a Bar Barrel just to be able to distract the P.E.K.K.A. a little bit longer. Um, and let's see, guys. So, Golemites are able to deal quite a lot of damage. Uh, Mega Minion is still there. Looks like he goes with his Snowball. So, let's actually go with a Golem. I'll actually ignore the Electro Waste on the right side just because I'm not too worried about uh, yeah, taking one hit. Let's actually go with a Snowball on defense. Just making sure like we don't take too much damage and look at the baby dragon guys is able to deal a lot of damage and i'm pretty sure we might be able to just uh, yeah kind of spell cycle in this situation um let's actually go with a dark prince let's actually go with i guess a baby dragon and i would just go with a lightning let's actually go with lightning like this 
think this will still hit the baby dragon, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I was about to say, not sure if it will hit the Electro Wizard. So look at that one Golemite, guys. That one Golemite will actually be the MVP because that one Golemite will, I think, put it uh, not in Lightning Range, but actually is Snowball Lightning Range. So uh, right now we just need to cycle. Let's go with Mega Minion. Let's go with Barbell. I cannot use my uh, Snowball on defense. So let's actually go with a Snowball over here. And let's go with the lightning. So as you see, was a little bit close, like in the end, in the right side. But I knew like he wouldn't have enough time to be able to take it. So instead of using my snowball on defense over there and uh, risking like to be able to like he might be able to deal damage and like again like pressure. Um, instead, I just decided to snowball the tower right away and then just lightning. As you see, wasn't able to take the tower. So yeah, a little bit risky, of course. Um, letting like the run rider, letting like the bandit stuff like that, uh, yeah, getting to your tower. But anyways, as you guys see, 12 one in this grand challenge. So really, really nice episode in my opinion. Hopefully you guys, uh, yeah, could learn something from it. Unfortunately, we did end up losing against this golem night witch deck. But yeah, as you guys see, we don't have anything to really be able to deal with this um, night witch. And his tornado was definitely really good. Like he played this super, super well, guys. But anyways, this will do it for today's video. Uh, of course, like I will quickly end up uh, or end of the episode with, with the chest opening. So I would say let's just open to the chest opening, guys. 22k gold, which is always nice. We get some bombers, we get some mini Pekka, furnace. Looks like we get some royal hawks, some flying machines, spear goblins, goblin hut, uh, some bats, some wizard, wall breakers. Looks like uh, seven giant skeletons. So all the epics already, and looks like we do end up getting a legendary, guys. 581 skeleton barrels, and the next card is again a legendary. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, and it will be uh looks like mega knight. So I think in most of my recent episodes, I've actually been getting legendaries in my 12 win chest. So that's actually awesome, guys. Hopefully we can keep up the luck and hopefully we can keep up the episodes. Also, guys, I do want to uh, yeah, quickly say um, yes, just thank you and give a huge shout out uh, to you guys for watching. Like, especially if you're watching all the way until, until the end. Let me know in the comment section down below because this way I can give you a heart on your comment. But anyways, guys, this will do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to smack the like button. If not, subscribe to the channel. Feel free to subscribe and I will see you in my next videos. Bye, guys.